We are now in Finland, in Helsinki, and uh, we are at this, um, it's like a historic uh, airport, right? Correct, yes. This yeah. is Malmi Airport, which is uh, built in late 30s, one of the first airports in, in Finland. But it's still operational? It's still, it has been operational still, still from starting, and it's, it's actually very busy. It's second busiest airport in Finland, wow. if you calculate um, um, fly landings and getting up um, about 50,000 operations per year. Wow. Um, and, uh, okay, so uh, you guys probably recognize this aircraft behind me here. This is the Pipistrel uh, electric airplane. And um, uh, you guys happen to own one also. Correct, yes. <laughs> yeah. all, all our association to own that. Okay, so what is it a club or what is it? It's, it's a uh, Association, but also flying club. So people are flying it, but it's also used for, um, the, let's say, research kind of things. Okay. Looking, looking at the electric flying and hmm. measuring and so. On. So uh, I see there's like Fortum sticker here. What is, is Fortum a part of the ownership or? Uh, yeah, Fortum do doesn't own this, but Fortum, we are cooperating with Fortum. Okay. And Fortum is interested in, especially this. Um, Technological cooperation for two months to know how these electric planes, how, how they operate it, okay. what kind of charges they will need in future, and all that kind of stuff. Hmm. Well, so, uh, I was wondering, like, uh, what made you guys want to buy this plane? Yeah, well, there are a group of people at Malmi who, who were interested in electric flying mm -hmm. and um, all that. Um, what kind of uh, uh, power you need and all kind of that aspects and it's easiest to start to look that with the ready plane and this was the first one which you could really buy. Oh, okay. So so was th it a that coincidence that you went for Pipistrel? No, no, we, we looked all the possibilities and we test fly Pipistrel okay. before we the decision and mm -hmm. uh, this plane looked very good, behaved mm -hmm. very well. So it was easy decision at the end. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, and um, like, what are your plans with this airplane? Training or? Yeah. Yeah. Well, at the moment, if it cannot be used for training as as it's allowed only one person at the moment. Okay. It will change uh, early next year when it will be registered as a standard ultralight. Then we start to do also some kind of training it, but. Mm -hmm. But more, more than that, we, we will now uh, put some, some more sensoring in it and measure it and, hmm. and do some kind of technical, le well, let's say, research. Okay. And, but obviously next year it will be also all the club members can fly it. Oh, okay. So oh. we have about 70 members now. So yeah. it will be also used just for flying. Hmm. But you know, um, Finland is not normally like known as like a country with lots of EVs. So this is a bit like unusual. For me. I didn't know you guys had an airplane. Like, yeah, the Norwegians got the one week before us. Oh, okay. <laughs> so but, we, we were in, in very, very early stage too. Mm -hmm. So why why we have electric plane here? Yeah. Why electric? Oh, it's it's. Not only that it's cool, it's also very ecological okay. way of traveling and, and our vision the electric flying will be the future's most ecological way of traveling. Oh, yeah. And this electrification of all kind of flying machines will change people's way of traveling as much as mobile phones is change people's way of communication. Wait, wait, so are you talking about flying cars or uh, well, what are now called very often flying cars okay. or flying taxis, these veto machines is one part of it. But the other thing is that these um, uh, also more traditional uh, electric uh, aeroplanes are coming. Which, mm -hmm. which are first are coming these under 19 passenger planes, which can okay. be operated with one pilot only. Wow. Okay. And which you very well know also that Norwegian is, is, is planning to big or have big plans with electric flying yes, starting yes, with in 25 so seven mm -hmm. years from now 
So yes, all that kind, all that will will change. And the good thing is that it's probably will be very very cheap way also. Okay. Uh, Uber, which is talking about these flying taxis, say that in in longer future flying Uber will be cheaper than fly. than than a car Uber. Well, so uh, how is the electricity price here in Finland? It's uh, well about nine nine cents euro cents per kilowatt hour. Okay, nine euro cents. Well, that's not too bad. Yeah. It's, hmm. Okay. That's that's uh, well that's typically, but. It's cheaper than many other countries in Europe. I yeah. believe so. Yes, I believe yeah. so. But that, okay, that, you know, <laughs> I'm a bit surprised why there there aren't more EVs here. Well, they are now, I think this year the the growth was something like 50 percent or so. Okay. So uh-huh. these uh, all electric vehicles or or, or blocking hybrids. But uh, comparing to Norway, mm-hmm. government has never given so much of uh, support for yeah. buying. So yeah. that's after the prices start to come down, I believe mm. it, the sales but, will, will grow even mm-hmm. more. But um, uh, have you done any? I mean, this plane has it like? Have you flown anywhere around here? No, not not really. Okay. Just just around the airport. Like next you... next year we will be doing doing more more flights. Oh, where uh, where are you going then? Uh, well, we have very early plans to fly from from Helsinki to to Tallinn. Tallinn, yeah, Tallinn, so over to sea. Oh, so let, how, let's see. <laughs> but how far is that? That's about 100 kilometers from here. Okay, 100. Yeah. But um, well, the problem is you have that big charger and you need to charge it in Tallinn. Well, we we need to take our charger. In car and go over the sea by <laughs> by um, shipyard and, yeah. and then yeah, that that way. <laughs> but or then we need to buy a new one. Maybe we maybe we get a new one or second charger before that. Let's see. Well, but you know there is a charger in Norway. Um, <laughs> you could use bit, bit bit too long way. <laughs> so I mean, technically, if I mean, eventually, if more and more people get these airplanes, yeah, then. I don't know if there could be like a, like a solution where you know you know I mean like a map or something. Of, of course. Or maybe sure. a standard that yeah. Yeah. every airplane should have one. Yeah. I mean every airport type. Yeah. Yeah. I, I believe that that's the future. At the moment, is is um, there is not really even a standard for for airplane charges. Yeah. For the smaller ones, the bigger ones, there is a one one plan already. But yes, the infra. We need more charts to chargers to be really operating mm-hmm. like a plane. Well, our our idea is that in these small airports you could build a chargers which you can use for cars and airplanes. So then oh. it would be much easier for the operator to get some kind of business before there is a lot of these airplanes. Okay. Well, I see some challenges there if you have because I know that the charger. For the people's world, it's, it's like designed only for this one, so it can't be shared with, let's say, a Tesla or a EV. No, but obviously the charger box needs to have kind of like a two charger in it. Yeah. Okay. For the car standard and and then the airplane standard. Hmm. Hmm. Well, okay. Uh, very interesting. Um, I guess I don't need to fly this again because I already tested it. But uh, I like the idea that you know more and more uh, like I don't know like. Uh, airports, clubs, or like associations around the world are getting these airplanes because uh, it's like a it's like a start. Like it's it's like um, I mean, it's, this is not going to be like commercial uh, flying. It's more like um, like I don't know how to say. It. Like, you have to tr- you have to you know crawl before you can walk, right? So this is yeah. like a way of crawling. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So yeah. this is this is the these are the very first airplanes, electric airplanes, and. From ten years of now, mm-hmm. it, the world will change a lot. Ah, oh, okay. So you believe Infla- that? Electric flying, yes. Yeah, I'm sure about that. There are more than 100 projects wow. for different kind of electric airplanes in the world right now. Mm-hmm. And next coming ten years, you will be seeing a lot of different kind of electric flying machines. Yeah. So was this? Is this the first electric airplane in Finland? Yes, this is the first. Ah, oh, okay. Finland, yes. 
And was it before in Norway? Or? Oh, just one week after Norway. Oh. We, we, <laughs> we wanted to be the first one in, in Nordic, but hmm. planning Norway is again. Yeah, <laughs> but, <no. laughs> you guys have too much money. Yeah. <laughs> Well, okay, uh, that was very interesting. Uh, always interesting to talk about this airplane. So, um, uh, thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, so um, maybe I'll see you again. Hope so. Yeah, <laughs> okay. All right. Thank so, you. Yeah, thank you. So, anyway, uh, if you're interested if in something else, if you have any questions, uh, then please ask and I might forward the questions or maybe get back here. Yeah. So. I guess uh, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, so talk to you guys later.